All right, so what's going on, everybody? So this one's a little bit different. We got to solve it in terms of a diameter of a value we don't know, but the problem reads water flows through the pipe contraction um, for the given 0.2 meter difference in the manometer level, determine the flow rate as a function of the diameter of the small pipe D. So this one's gonna be tedious in terms of algebra, not really engineering, it's just a bunch of math, but Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this one. Um, knowns, right? So we're dealing with water. So we know the density of water and it is in meters. So density of water is a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. And gamma of water is 98.10, right? Newtons per meter cubed. Uh, what else? So we know this height right here is 0 0.2. So this right here is a manometer reading. So there's a point here. And then there's a point right here. 0.2. This is 0.1. It's right, right here. Pretty much down this line. Uh, I really don't see any other knowns, so let's just continue like normal. So, step two, right? Bernoulli's equation. We want to find the flow rate. But we need to do Bernoulli's equation between these two points uh, to kind of see the difference between pressures because this isn't pressure zero just because they're along the same uh, reference datum, right? We know the heights are going to, you know what, let's just continue with the Bernoulli. P1, one half, rho V1 squared, plus rho G H1 is equal to P, I'm sorry, this is P1. P1 is equal to P2 plus one half rho v2 squared plus rho g h2 um they're on the same datum so the heights go away uh this is zero this is zero so we don't know the velocity uh we don't know the flow rate we know the area but we're looking for this q and in order to get q Q is equal to AV, right? Area times velocity. Uh, but we don't know velocity, so we can't get the flow rate here or here because we don't know the diameter here, so it's even worse. But check this out. We could use the manometers. So the reason we're doing Bernoulli's is to use the manometers to determine the difference in pressure in terms of velocities. So all the pressures, the two pressures will be on this side. Velocities will be on that side. And you pretty much, this problem is a lot of algebra. So we'll go from there. Let's see. Uh, the equation will be P1 minus P2, right? We want the difference in pressure on one side. And then if we move this one over here, we're going to have one half density of water for both, right? Uh, and it's going to be V2 squared minus V1 squared. So that's just a bunch of algebra, right? I move this one over here, then factor it out one half row. Uh, so this is the equation that we want. Well, for now. Okay, so next thing to notice, um, we got the equation, we really can't do much there, but we could do the manometers. So this is open right here, right? And here too. So that means pressure here at this point and at this point is zero. It's atmospheric pressure. <clears throat> so from manometers, we know that the pressure here, and because we're going down, we're adding. So the pressure, pressure here plus gamma H up to this point is equal to pressure one, right? So just to write it down, see what I'm saying. So pressure at this point is P0 plus gamma of this height right here. Uh, let's label this height, uh, height one, right? Height one is equal to P1. So again, pressure here 
plus all of this gamma height is equal to P1. So, but we said it here that pressure zero, it's atmospheric. So P1 is equal to gamma H1. Similarly, right, P2 is equal to this plus all of this. So, and P2 is equal to gamma of water times this height. Let's label this height two, right? So height two right here. And because of this P1 minus P2, uh, we could set these two equal to each other. So gamma H1 minus gamma H2 is equal to P1 minus P2, right? Um, we could factor out the gamma here in this case. We get H1 minus H2 is equal to P1 minus P2, right? So that means, let me move it over here. Uh, H1 minus H2, that's just 0 0.2. So we got gamma uh, times 0 0.2 is equal to P1 minus P2. All right, so we got that. Um, now we could use this and plug it into here. So step four. I'll just plug in this chunk right here, replace it with P1 minus P2 because they're the same thing. So gamma times 0 0.2 is equal to 1 half density V2 squared minus V1 squared, right? Okay, so we got this relationship at least. We're going to need this. Step five, we use the principle of continuity. So the constant uh, flow rate here is the same as the flow rate here. So Q1 is equal to Q2. That means the area one times velocity is equal to area two times velocity of two. Um, the area of a cross-sectional pipe is just a circle, area of a circle, right? So it's pi d squared over four. That's diameter one, 0 0.1 is equal um, times V1, hold on. Times V1, right, is equal to pi, uh, this is a big D right here, so we'll put D, big D right there, squared over four times V2. Um, pi over four cancel out, right, so at the end of the day, and this is 0 0.1, so when you square it, actually, you know what, I won't go too fast. We are gonna have D1 squared V1 is equal to big D squared V2. D1 is 0 0.1. If you square that, you'll get 0 0.01. V1 is equal to D squared V2. Solve, let's isolate V2. Um, we will get, and the reason we isolate V2 and not V1 is because at the end of the day, we're gonna get V2 in terms of V1, and then we're gonna multiply times the area to get the flow rate. If you do it in terms of V1, then you'll have to multiply by this, and you don't know this D right here, so that's pretty much useless. So that's why we do it in terms of V2. So V2 will be 0 0.01 V1 over D squared. All right. I wish they would just give us the goddamn um, value for D because it makes things more confusing. Now, step six, we're going to plug in this V2 to the Bernoulli equation up top. So we know it's, well, into this equation now. That one right there, uh, one, whatever, into equation one. So that's why I number these two, three, four, five, six, and then arrows, so you won't get mixed up. But 
that is where we're at now. So let's see. So gamma times 0 0.2 is equal to 1 half rho. V okay, so that's where we plug in. So it's going to be, if you square this, right, V2 gets squared. So if you square it, you will get 0 0.001. No, three zeros. There we go. Well, you know what? I won't plug in the numbers yet. First, I'll just plug it in normally. So you won't get confused. So let's do a bigger one. 0 0.01 squared, V1 squared, D to the fourth. Minus V2, no, V1, I'm sorry. V1 squared, right? That one. So V1 squared. All right. So this is gamma of water times 0.2. That's going to give you 3.924. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, so if you do density divided by 2, density is 1,000. So you'll get 500. Divide, do this, multiply these two, and then divide by 500. You'll get this number right here. Um, so that's 3.924 is equal to um, this, right? The parentheses, 0 0.01 squared, V1 squared, D to the 4 minus V1 squared. All right, so again, 3.924 is equal to, uh, factor out the V1 squared, all right? v1 squared because we're trying to isolate v1 because uh, then at the end we're going to get v1 is equal to something in terms of d now we're going to multiply that to the area to get flow rate so the trick here is just to get v1 by itself so that's going to be 0 0.1231 one, three zeros and then one uh d to the four minus one right yeah just factored it out um get v1 squared alone so v1 squared is equal to so the parentheses at the bottom 0 0.0001 d to the 4 minus 1 right and the top is 3.924. So that's kind of where we're at now. Um, we're gonna square everything, get rid of the square root um, right here. So square root the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and we'll give ourselves a little space right here, right? Uh, that's gonna be V1 is equal to, let's label this step seven. So you won't get confused. Step seven. V1 is equal to, uh, we're going to square root all this. So this is 0 0.0001 times D to the fourth minus one. Uh, and the top becomes 1.98, right? Just take the square root. And then, um, cool, so we got V1. That's the goal on this problem. Now we're gonna do step eight. Q1 is equal to A1, V1. Right, flow rate. So Q1 is equal to pretty much, so let's do, you know what, yeah. Pi R squared. So pi, the radius here is 0 0.05. Square it times 1.98, and the rest stays the same. So you get 0 0.0001 D4 minus 1, right? And Q1, if you simplify the top, you will get 
and this is a square root zero point I'm just rewriting the bottom d4 minus 1 right so that's the bottom and the top is 0 0.0156 now this is the answer right here so if you look at the solutions online that's the answer but the solution has a d squared up top and uh it's just a uh, crazy right they have a d4 here so i'll tell you what they did so going here write this down i'm gonna move up here just to show you what they did it's the same answer but i'm gonna rewrite it up here right um q1 i'm just rewriting it so you won't have to play back the video 0 0.0001 cool so that's what the book did right i mean that's what we got right now so what the book did is they multiplied the top by d squared and the bottom whatever you do to the top you got to do to the bottom so they got q1 is equal to 0 0.0156 d squared then you got d squared square root 0 0.0001 d4 minus 1 right now and there's parentheses right there now if you want to throw this in there inside the square root you have to, this becomes d to the fourth so you'll have q1 is equal to t to the fourth 0 0.0001 d to the fourth minus 1 0 0.0156 d squared and then this cancels out with this and D4 times 1 is just D4. So you'll end up with the solution answer of top is 0 0.0156 D squared, right? Bottom will be, what is that? 0 0.00, okay, 0 0.0001 is the same as 0 0.1 to the fourth. I think that's what they got. Um, minus d to the fourth. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's all it is. It's just a bunch of algebra. Um, either answer is correct. I wouldn't worry about this problem being on an exam. It's too pointless. He'll give you values. Um, this is more like a, if you know how to go about it in terms of diameter. But that's the answer right there. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but... That's the bottom and then that's the top.